Now I wanna go ahead and take a look at another new feature within Rebel 3 that I think a lot of people are really going to enjoy. Now in order to do that, I wanna go ahead and combine some of the things that we've already learned so far. So I'm gonna come back over here to Canvas. I'm gonna switch back over here to the washi, which has that rough edge. I'm gonna say, okay. I also wanna come over here and make sure that we're using the preset of Japan, which is gonna tie into the washi. And I'm gonna do what I did before. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna paint at the edges of the document so that we can see and we can paint right up to the edge of that roughness. And if you remember, if we were to go ahead and switch to a different type of paper, we would see that brush stroke all the way out to the actual edge of the document because this rough edge here is simply a transparency effect, and it's an important thing to remember. Now that said, the new tool that we wanna look at, and I'll just go ahead and dry this real quick now, is going to be up here, and you can see it's the crop tool. If I click on this, you're gonna see that we get a number of parameters that we can set here, I could choose to set this to be image size and I could set the image size if I want to, or I can turn that off and we can actually make the document larger or smaller. Now, there is a simple way of doing this. You can see we have these little nodes here on the corners and on the sides. Any ideas is that we can either drag these guys in to make the document smaller, or we can drag them out in order to make the document bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the space bar on my keyboard. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pull off to the side like so. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna pull on this little orange node just to pull this guy out. We're gonna add some pixels to this document because maybe I want to extend out my composition a little bit here. Now again, remember, I painted all the way past this border. So we're gonna see something interesting happen when I come down here and I say, okay, to accept this. So you're gonna see that it takes a second to calculate the new information. We now have added the pixels. And because of the fact that we painted beyond that border, you can see that we end up with the actual paint that I had painted all the way out there. So that's an important thing to understand. We don't end up with a rough edge here, we end up with a smooth edge, just like if we had changed the paper. So if you are going to add pixels in order to extend the document, remember that anything you've painted beyond that border is going to appear to have a hard, flat line, and that's something that you'll have to deal with, whether you're gonna be blending that out or whatever else you're gonna be doing in order to make sure that that doesn't become something that's distracting in your new composition. Now, likewise, if we come back over here and we set this, we can come in here and we can crop it down in any number of ways. And as you can see, just by the same way that we did with making it larger, we're gonna end up with new edges all the way around. And you can see that it even takes into consideration that crop like so. So you can see that this is a really, really nice new feature in Rebel 3. It's gonna be very, very useful to you in terms of making your documents smaller or larger, depending upon your needs for your composition which oftentimes you don't determine until after you've already done a significant amount of drawing. And maybe you say, well, you know, I really wanna adjust the composition so that maybe it's a slight bit more panoramic, or maybe I wanna make it a little bit wider in this direction or wider in that direction, or maybe a little taller. So it's a really, really nice new feature of Rebel 3. I highly encourage that you use it. Just bear in mind that if you do add pixels, that these rough edges will not appear rough when you extend them out, they'll appear flat, Exactly the same way as if I were to come over here and switch over to the Aquarelle, and you'll see I get those flat edges. Now I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna clear off this layer because we're not gonna need that. And we're gonna go ahead and pick up from here in the next video.